let's see how we can install the latest php version in our windows 10 or windows 11 system and how we can set it up for web development so first go to your browser and you don't need to go here i'm just showing you what is the latest version so latest version is 8.2.13 right so what you can do is you can directly download from here and install it but just installing php will not be enough because when you need to test or create a website you need to create a server so that you can serve your php files and all that stuff so for that you need php and a server and a database and all that so we will install xamp here so what you can do is search for install xamp and i'll have that link in the description below click on this one you can just directly click the link now here as you can see xamp for windows is released for 8.0 8.1 and 8.2.12 so which one do we need? We need this one, right? The latest one. So click on this, download 64 bit. And here your download will start. So finally, our XAMPP has been downloaded. Now click on open file to start the installation. If you are asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Click yes. Now you will see this option. Click on OK. Click next. And leave all these as it is. Click next again. And this is where your XAMPP will be installed. If you don't have much storage left in C you can click on this button and choose any other directory where you have more storage available click next again and it is saying the folder is not empty because I already had an older version installed in your case you will not be shown this message if you are click OK anyway click next okay so uh, it wants me to delete the folder so I'll just go ahead and do it in your case keep in mind that you will not have to do this Okay, so I'll go to my C drive and empty everything here that is old and now I'll go back to my setup and click next so it will work now click next again and finally click next one last time and your installation has started so finally our ZAMP is installed and you will be shown this so keep this selected because our ZAMP control panel will open now click finish and now you can see this that is the XAMPP control panel you can close these browsers here these tabs and let's say we want to start Apache and this means that our Apache web server is running and it is serving PHP so let's see what version of PHP we have installed go to your command prompt okay so if you have an antivirus it is saying something like PHP is a threat, uh, what you can do is click on remain exposed. And I don't need for protection. And let's type PHP double dash version to see what version of PHP we have installed. Okay, it is saying PHP is not recognized. So maybe the antivirus has removed it. So just let's go to our installation directory. And let's check. So we have PHP here, right? Okay, we have. So what you can do is, if you're getting PHP is not found, what you can do is you can copy this, press your Windows key and type environment variables. Click on environment variables and click on this path and click on, or you can click on this. If you have multiple users and you want it available for all the users, click on system variables select path and double click on this and double click here at the bottom paste it paste the path that we just copied let's paste it here slash php click ok click ok again click ok now you can open your card terminal Close this and open terminal again. And now type PHP to dash version. And this time, as you can see, the version is PHP 8.2.12. So PHP version 8.2.12 is installed. Now let's see how we can create a project and open it in our browser. So first go to your XAMPP folder that is inside C drive. Inside C drive, we have XAMPP folder. If you had changed the location while installing, go to that folder. Go inside htdocs and let's create a new folder. 
let's call it my PROJ. Here, what you can do is create a new PHP file. You can use IDEs like Visual Studio or anything else to create your new files. And let me call it index.php. Right click on this and I'll just add a hello, simple hello here. And so that's why I'm opening with Notepad, not any fancy editor. And now write this sample code here. You can remove the comments. You can just have PHP and echo hello world. Save this. Close this. And now go back to your ZAMP and make sure Apache is running. Now go back to your browser. And Google post slash my PROJ. Hit enter. And as you can see, hello world is printed and we have served our first PHP website. This is how you can install PHP and run it using Apache. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.